Today we are going to make a coffee sleeve. To make one of our coffee sleeves, you're going to need scissors, felt, glue, and some self-adhesive Velcro dots. Our first step is going to be cutting out the main piece of the coffee sleeve. Now I'm using a discarded sleeve from a disposable coffee cup. And because I always feel like those are a little too small to keep my hand warm, I'm going to add on a bit of space on each side. Also, because I'm going to be making this into a little bear shape, I'm going to add some ears on the top. It doesn't have to be perfect. I would recommend using a piece of chalk if you have it to draw on the felt, but really freehand will work also. All right, once your piece is traced onto your felt, you are ready to cut it out. Now you can use any scissors, but if you have a dedicated pair of fabric scissors, it really makes a difference in cutting easier. Once your piece of felt is cut out, let's try it for size. Now this is designed to go on a disposable coffee cup. Um, if you had felt that was a little longer, you could make it to go around a coffee mug at home. But for this purpose, let's make sure it fits our disposable coffee cup. Yeah, and it works. So now that we know that our felt will fit this coffee cup just right, Let's grab our Velcro dots. The Velcro dots will allow us to make this easy to open and close and reuse. You can get these Velcro dots from an office supply store or a craft store. Now the main thing here is just to make sure you have it on the correct side. So if this wraps around the cup, that means we'll need two pieces over here and two right here. And they do peel off quite easily. And I like to put the other piece right on the circle. And then fold my felt over just to make sure it goes on the place I want it to be. All right, now we're ready to give it a face. Now to give this coffee sleeve a face, I'm going to use some scrap felt and just cut out some shapes that can go inside the ears, give it some eyes, and give it a little snout. Trim it up a little bit. but these don't have to be perfect. Just to make sure these are the same shape, I will double up my felt and cut through it. This will be the inside of the ears. And you know, none of this is necessary. If you think, I just want a plain felt coffee sleeve, Okay, well you're done. You don't have to do any of these parts. Um, if you want to make a different animal, use your imagination. It's No one's going to judge it. All right, let's see how those look. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, so our one last step after we've cut out our bits of felt is to glue them on. Um, you can use fabric glue, but I have found that Regular white school glue is going to work just fine. Okay, and I will tell you from experience, it is much easier to apply the glue and let it dry uh, when your sleeve is laid flat, like so. All right, you're going to let that dry. And then you are done. 
All right, there's our coffee sleeve. Now the one word of warning that I would tell you or that I learned was when you are opening and closing your sleeve, Velcro does tend to tug and you don't want to tug it right off of the sleeve. So just reach in there and make sure you're separating the two pieces like so instead of just pulling it off because both stickers may come off. All right, but now you can just keep this in your car, add it on to your regular coffee sleeve or just give your coffee a cute little face. And you can make any kind of variation. You can make them complex. You can keep them simple and have fun. You can play around with placement. You can play around with shapes. By moving the pupils on this cat, you can have him look at different things. By turning the smile upside down, you can have that character be a little less happy. So pick up a grab-and-go craft kit with all of the supplies you need to make one of these cute coffee sleeves at our Makachuk or Schlafly branches. They are available through curbside service.